Hey, what's up? So let's now build our first Webpack JavaScript bundle. To do this, we need to install a couple of packages uh, to do it. So to, and using npm, of course. But to install packages using npm, this project needs to be needs to use npm uh, packages. So to do that, we will write npm in net then dash y. So this will make it an npm uh, project. Now we can install uh, web pack and web pack CLI. And these would be a development dependency. That's why I added the flag D uh, with it. The way I th there is two type of uh, packages as far as I know in npm. Maybe there is more, but uh, development dependency. These are when you flag them with dash D. These the way I think about them. If the developer will interact with this package, this is a development dependency. So I will put it like this. If not, I would it will be just a normal dependency, you will just install it like this without the dash D, and that's it. Okay, this, so let's keep this running. And in the root directory to use webback, you need to have a file. You can name it anything you want, but by default, webback will search for a file called webback.config.javascript. But you can name it anyone at anything, but uh, and I will show you how we can name it anything and use it. So, and in this file, you need to export like this an object, and this actually tells you that this web back to config to JavaScript file will run in Node.js context. That's why we are using the command JS syntax. So web back actually runs inside Node.js. This is something to remember because you can use anything that Node.js provides out of the box. Out of the box, yeah. So, uh, let me import two functions from the path module in Node.js. Yeah, this is a Node.js environment, or this will run in Node.js environment, so you, this is something to remember. I will in, and path is built, already built in in Node.js. I will get the join function and the resolve function. I had, If you are resolving uh, directory paths or creating paths for specific files, Always use these two functions. This will work no matter your operating system are, and uh, it's easier to deal with than rather than uh, concatenating strings. Yeah, uh, that's why I, I like to use them. So the main two things in any uh, configuration object for back is the entry property and the output property. So let's create the entry. This tells back where to start to build the dependency graph. So then it can resolve the bundle using that dependency graph. So you can actually put anything as the key, but the path need to be pointed to a JavaScript file. So I will go to my directory. I will go to the current working directory, and I will join all of these strings as a path. I will go then to the source. So this will be um, the current working directory like this. So if you type p w d. So yeah, this is like my current working directory. Then I will go to source. Then I will go to JavaScript. Then I will put the name of the file as the, as uh, the entry point. This is the file that I want you to start building the bundle from. The main. Okay, so this is for the entry. Now to to tell you back where to put the output, you will have the output property like this. You will give it a file name. I will call the file main.js. And the path for where to put this uh, output, the bundle output, um, I will resolve the directory from the directory name, then go to this. This is not existing at the moment, but Woodback will uh, create it. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Now to run it using webpack, remember we installed, if you go to our package.json, we installed webpack and webpack CLI. And uh, I always recommend that you install everything that your project needs locally. So any developer that might use your project will just uh, install only your project with no other uh, global maybe CLIs and anything, and it will just run. 
so now to use webpack you need actually to tell webpack to use this file and since webpack is stored locally we can run it using npm scripts so you can give any script a name so I'll call it bundle this can be anything bundle like this and this will be webpack and this will use the webpack exist in node modules and this needs the webpack CLI this is why I installed these two packages okay so if you want to run any package or anything from the node modules locally you will use npm scripts this when you type npm run bundle this will go and execute and or this will go and call webpack from the node modules on the current directory so very uh, very nice so let's try it npm run let me copy bundle bundle so as you can see everything is fine we have this warning about uh, what is the mod is it production or development we will come to this but for now this, everything is fine so go to our disk you will see a compiled or oh, sorry a minified and uglyfied version of the main js uh, it looks a lot but uh, yeah this actually works so let's put some code inside our main what i will do i'll install i will install um uh, underscore so under score so i will show you how we can actually use packages from node modules in our front-end application like this and inside our main i will convert it to look like this so import from underscore there is a function called compose that i really like i have actually a video in my channel where i show you how we can create something like this function so const func this is the first function this will edit uh, my name and I will create another function so it's function 2 this will alert uh, my name then 0 2 and I want to combine these two functions into one function so I will use the compose and I will store that in a variable called all functions so compose function 1 and then function 2 now I'll just call that as well now in our helpers I will create yeah I will return this and let's import it here so import more helpers uh, let's say hi and let's just call it at the end so everything seems nice let's compile and maybe before that let me show you how this will look like uh, pretty pretty fine so we have like 58 line right let's now compile it uh, let's now bundle it again so it's now really long so let's try for, to format it i don't think it will work but yeah it's really long now but this tells us that it worked everything we added there uh, no oops yeah yeah okay so this used to be 58 line but now this will be a thousand <laughs> a thousand and six hundred line so as you can see these are our functions and that what they will do so let's now go to our index of javascript let's import from this from this import the main this is the, com the bundled version and let's go to our browser and run this I already used the live server I showed you in the previous video from Visual Studio Code live server and I opened uh, this index.html inside of it so let's go to localhost so we see this this one this one and we see hi so everything works we can use import and export from different files and nothing and we don't have any errors uh, so this is very nice and it works so another thing maybe and usually you will have many webpack configuration files you will you won't only have one maybe one for production one for, one for uh, development one for the backend service I mean you will have so many webpack files usually so let me show you how we can actually use any webpack file no matter the name Webpack by default will search for a file called webpack.config.javascript in the root directory but maybe you will have a file called I'll put this 
uh, I'll make it my name so to point this to webpack or to make webpack read the configuration from here npm run uh, bundle now give it the name of the file and it will use this file as the configuration so yeah that's it but I will return it to webpack.config javascript and by the way if you are wondering how webpack understands this it will go to the it will try to require the defaulted exports from this function from this uh, file and use that object so I'm exporting this ob object by default and webpack will just read the exported uh, object and that's it then we'll behave our best on it but yeah I mean this is just the basics there is so many stuff we can actually do we can have dynamic names we can have many uh, dynamic names for the file name we can have many uh, entry points we can have many bundles we can have many destinations so that's what will you usually end up with you won't just put everything here maybe in the side of this you will have javascript file uh, CSS file Oops. and at the end uh, images so that's what most of the applications will look like after bundling everything so I'll show you how we can have multiple paths as an output multiple entries I'll show you all of that how we can compile SAS and yeah etc so this is just a starting uh, point I hope this was useful and bye